This team of Ugandan doctors conducted a heart surgery on this 45-year-old patient for at least 10 hours. The surgery involved replacing three vessels in the heart. For the first time, an all Ugandan team of medical workers performed the surgery. And now we are trying to use this result to show the nation that we only want tools. The budget we receive supports up to about 30% of our output. Dr. Omagino said the Heart Institute, the only facility in the country, is still underutilized. The institute currently carries out 500 heart surgeries instead of the 1,000 that it was meant to handle. Some, like the rheumatic heart disease, they already what, so the volume surgery we are having to foot the bill. Many of the children threw, thrown to us, the fa families may not be able to be able. Treatment of this kind of heart defect can cost up to 100 million shillings abroad. Most patients in Uganda are sent to India where the cost is cheaper at about 72 million shillings. That cost would reduce to about 28 million shillings if it were carried out at the Uganda Heart Institute. Even the money that has been going for referrals abroad, that money should be brought here. And for us, we, produce, we support this program. Dr. Omagino says the government should prioritize the health sector in order to avoid brain drain and also build capacity for the already established workforce and expertise. For us, we are challenging government. Give us the resources and you demand for the outputs. Walter Mwesije, NTV.